It will never be perfect. You will always plateau. You'll always hit a snag. Mm -hmm. That is just normal. And so we're here to like kind of help you through that and also be there to celebrate your wins. Um, and so that's why it looks like we work together two, four, and six months. And then even if you need longer, there's like little graduation plans that you can do as well if you want more support even longer. I think our goal is to be that person that even if you start feeling better, like still continuing to work with us and make sure it stays that way. Because just like what we talked about in the beginning, your life, it's forever changing and we forever need to pivot and change as our body speaks to us. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. And, um, it's growing and our goal is definitely to have a location in every big city. Um, that's amazing. and that one of my kids or grandkids is going to take over. I'm speaking that. <laughs> you're, you're saying that now. <laughs> I'm saying that now, please. <laughs> and, and you're okay. If you just tuned in, I'm talking to Lahana Vigliano. She is the CEO of New True Wellness. Check out her website. She has so much great information. We'll have it all up on our social media. Um, uh, now I just lost my train of thought because I got so excited about all of this. Yes. What are your thoughts on exercise too? Now, I obviously exercise is a part of it. How often do you exercise and what do you recommend? I was doing seven days a week on my Peloton. I was like, that was way too much. That's oh, so not, much. Really, it wasn't, I wasn't like a, you know, burning like 800 calories. I was, you know, on country music, taking my time. Was it wasn't crazy. It sounds better than it is. That's so, that's so funny. I mean, I definitely, I love movement. I see a lot of women overdoing it for sure. And I think four days, five days is a sweet spot for a lot of women. Um, I also think not just the timing, but what you're doing. I see a lot of people doing cardio and we actually need to like reduce that and focus a lot on strength training. Um, because as we get older, we starting at 30, actually, we start losing a small percentage of our muscle um, every year just based on aging. And if we can, if you want an anti-aging hack, it is strength training through and through. And it's not just keeping with your 10 pound weights. It is forever increasing and challenging yourself and building that muscle. And you know, with that comes like diet and making sure you're getting a really balanced diet with protein, carbs, and fats. But strength training is so, so key to so many aspects of health. So I myself will strength train um, four days a week. I never skip a leg day. I, I, I share before and afters on my Instagram. I literally was a skinny mini. Um, some people would like love that. I wanted curves. I wanted, I wasn't going to get breast implants. So I was like, I'm, I'm growing something naturally. So it's going to happen to my butt. So I never skip a leg day. Um, and then the other two days will be like an upper body and maybe just a full whole body, maybe hit a little bit of leg and my upper body as well. And then the three days I do have some complete rest days and that's usually tied to like where I'm at in my cycle. So before I start my period, it's very normal for ladies to have low energy. Very normal. Our hormones are literally hitting the ground. So that I will usually back off completely and just listen to my body and rest. But um, outside of that, I will take walks and make sure I'm just getting some type of movement in. That's amazing. Yes. I've heard that too. So I've been doing a lot more cardio, which I think I need to start doing more of the the weights too and yes. the and strength training. I've, I've heard that before. Yes. 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 Oh my gosh. Best anti-aging hack ever. <laughs> oh my God. You just revealed a big secret. Can you imagine? Everybody better tune in to the end of this podcast just to listen to that. Mm -hmm. I'll have to tease that at the beginning. You are so adorable. I was so excited to talk with you. Are there any last minute things you want to share with my audience? I'm definitely going to have you back again and again and again. I don't think so. I know we covered so much. Um, to simplify with diet too, I would just ask yourself, can you grow it or can you kill it? If you can answer those two questions, you're on the right track of eating like just real wholesome foods. Now we're all human and I don't think that there's any perfection and absolutely have I ate a gluten-free Oreo in the last year? Probably yes. Um, but for the most part, like, are we really nourishing our bodies? So um, if you can answer those two questions, I think you're on somewhat the right track. And if you still need help, then, you know, that's what we're here for to help personalize it and help you understand your body better. Okay. So do you ever cheat? I, I, I hate the word cheat, but I do like, I, well, I have a CGM. I don't know. I know you can't see it if you're listening, but I have a continuous glucose monitor on my arm. So I'm actually playing around with like how foods affect my blood sugar. Um, and so I did, I had so cool. Chick-fil-A 
And I usually get, I love Chick-fil-A salads to be completely honest. I hate their dressing, but I love their fresh market salad. But I was like, I'm actually going to have a regular fried chicken sandwich and fries and see how it affects my blood sugar. It definitely threw my blood sugar very high. So (laughs) I will think, double think that even though I usually don't get that anyways, but I do, I actually do have things that are outside the quote unquote norm. Um, But I'm also not in a healing season. So if you're in a healing season, I do think that there needs to be some strictness to it. But if you're not, then, you know, you can always ask yourself, is this going to be worth diarrhea tomorrow or a headache or just like bloated? If it is like, if you're at a wedding, absolutely. Then if you're not in a healing season, of course, like do your thing, girl. Like we're all human. I still love me some normal, normal things, but I also am obsessed with like having things that are like made like help with healthier ingredients so like we just I made brownies last night from Simple Mills and that's like almond flour and just like better quality oil etc so I also love that too so I never feel like I'm deprived by any means I uh, see I can't stay away from the chips that's my <laughs> that's my but I have it with avocado so I feel like that's better I just can't stay away from chips there's really good chips out there you really want to look for um what the what oil they're fried in. So there's like avocado oil chips, um, coconut oil chips, some by Thrive Market. Siete is one of my favorite brands from the tortilla chips they do, as well as they actually are starting to make regular chips as well. But they're cooked in avocado oil. So it's a, it's a lot better. So we definitely still have chips too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to start my strength training and I'm going to let you know how it goes. <laughs> yes. But I feel like, you know, for for everybody, I mean, just what you said about you, that you follow us on this journey, I think that's the key because I think we all need that extra little love in our life. And and that helps a lot too, because like we said at the very beginning, you said everybody's journey is different. So you can't compare, even if you're like the same age, you can't compare this person with that person. Everybody's body is going to do it differently. Yeah, definitely. So much information here. My God, Lahana, I can't thank you enough. You are adorable. Thank you. I'm going to have you back again. I'm going to have you back again. I love this. So I can't wait for everyone to tune in to listen. And um, maybe they'll have some questions for us. They can, they can write to us and have some questions and we'll, we can answer that next time. Perfect. I'm excited. Thank you so much. I love talking about everything. Oh, and wait, 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 one thing we didn't touch on. If you don't go to the bathroom every day, that's not good. Yes. (laughs) I've had some people argue and say like, my whole life I've, only done a couple times a week. And I'm like, that doesn't make it normal. Um, yes, you have to go to the bathroom every single day. I wouldn't say, I know that maybe some blogs would be like, I gotta go like three times a day. No, at least once a day is key. Um, and then even if you're going every day, but there are pebbles, that's still pretty much constipation. So it needs to be, this sounds gross. And sorry if I ruined soft serve ice cream for you, but it should be like soft serve ice cream daily. <laughs> But again, not perfection. I definitely still have days where sometimes I'll have pebbles. I mostly have great poops. So, you know, there's definitely going to be times that you're like off depending on if you're eating something that just really don't serve you or whatnot. That will happen. But for the most part, going every day, soft serve is your, your What's so goal. Funny is you can even make poop sound good, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Come back again and again and yes. again. So much. Thank Lamar. you. I love you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode of What's Up with Wendy's podcast. If you love this episode, head over to iTunes or Spotify or your favorite platform to subscribe and leave a review if you want. Please also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at What's Up with Wendy. And you can also learn more about my podcast and about me on my website, What's Up with Wendy.com. Until next time, this is Wendy Lowy Sloan, and I really hope you enjoyed my podcast, and I hope you'll keep on listening. And most importantly, keep being kind. Thanks so much.